All right, so um, for our chapter 11 genetics test, just gonna go over some of the areas of focus that you need to review. So make sure that you can define all your vocab, um, but firstly, make sure you know the, what an allele is. Understand that an allele is a form of a gene and it takes two or more alleles combined to make the gene. So we have dominant alleles and recessive alleles. So, but make sure that you understand actually what an allele is and can define it. Be able to solve a Punnett square with parental gen genotypes, for example, homozygous dominant versus homozygous recessive. Two parents that are homozygous recessive a Punnett square where a parent is homozygous dominant and the other parent is homozygous recessive. Doesn't matter what letters you use. A Punnett square where both parents are heterozygous. Capital letter, lowercase letter. A Punnett square where one parent is heterozygous and the other parent is homozygous recessive. Make sure you can define uh, the following terms. Hybrid, homozygous, heterozygous, dominant, recessive. Again, it's included in all those terms in your, in your uh, chapter. Differentiate between Mendel's law of segregation and law of independent assortment. Sometimes they're called principle of segregation and principle of independent assortment, but that's the same thing. How do you write a purebred organism's genotype? How do you write that? What letter patterns do you write? Is it two capital letters? Is it lowercase letters? If it's purebred, how do you write heterozygous? So make sure that you can identify if something says that this is purebred for this trait, okay? Are you gonna write two capital letters? Are you gonna write two lowercase letters? Make sure you can decipher which one would be purebred recessive, which one would be purebred dominant. Very important that you know the difference between phenotype and genotype. And also know the difference between a phenotype ratio and a genotype ratio. Genotype ratio, out of the possibilities, how many ways do the letters pair up? Big letter, little letter, two little letters. Okay, is it a four possibilities? Is it only two possibilities, etc.? Phenotype means what does it look like? Physical features, out of the possibility. Is it 75%? Is it 50? Is it 3 fourths? Be able to complete a dihybrid cross where both parents are heterozygous for their traits. And then be able to find the phenotype ratio and the genotype ratio. In that instance, it would be out of 16, right? Because we have four possible gamete combinations from mom four possible gamete combinations from dad, and that makes it 16. Make sure you review the FOIL method or the Punnett square method for determining the gametes that go on the outside of our dihybrid cross or our 16 box Punnett square. So I'll give you some letters and you're gonna have to determine what gametes that you get from those letters, just like we did in practice. Okay, codominance, just like the practice problems that we did. Make sure if I give you that you have a chicken that's codominant for this trait and then the other trait, you know, black feathers, white feathers, make sure you can do those crosses. Know the difference between these terms. Multiple alleles, 
Incomplete dominance. Co-dominance. Okay, multiple genes. Polygenic inheritance. Make sure you know the difference between those. If an animal has a different version of coat color, what is that an example of? Those, those words I just listed, is it an example of codominance? Is it an example of multiple alleles? Is it an example of polygenic inheritance? The differences in human skin color, what is that an example of? Which one of those lists did I just mention? Again, multiple alleles is an example of polygenic inheritance. Incomplete dominance, codominance. Differentiate between the number of chromosomes that gametes have versus the number of chromosomes that somatic cells or body cells will have. That brings up diploid and haploid. Diploid 2N, haploid N. Very important that you understand that because just like on the homework there, they might give you a scenario where, okay, this organism has 16 chromosomes for its 2N. What would, it, what, what would its N be? Well, its N would be 8, right? Study the, your Venn diagrams for mitosis versus meiosis. Your compare and contrast. You're going to be having questions that relate to that, uh, that Venn diagram that we used. Contrast meiosis 1 with mitosis. Meiosis 1 with mitosis. Make sure you guys, uh, in your online textbook, your virtual book, whatever you call it, the following figures I want you to review. Figure 1.3 through 1.5. Figures 2.2 through 2.6. Figure 3.1. 4.2. 4.3. And 4.4. So we have 30 multiple choice, all including the information we just went over. And we have two science skill questions. One science skill question is going to require that you look at the steps of meiosis, be able to identify those steps. Know which phases have 2N chromosome numbers, which phases have N chromosome numbers. So starting with meiosis 1, PMAT, and then meiosis 2, PMAT, being able to identify where a 2N chromosome number would be, where an N chromosome number would be. At which point? The second uh, science skill question deals with Incomplete dominance. So you're going to be giving an organism with incomplete dominance, and you're going to have to answer the questions about it. Okay, for example, the flowers, the snapdragons, the cattle we talked about. 